Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash Entitled Parents. In today's episode. Best Entitled Parent Shutdown Ever. ED Angry That He's In The Wrong Place. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Best Entitled Parent Shutdown Ever. I dearly wish I could claim this was me, or even a relative, so I could claim this degree of clever was in my genes. But it was not. It was a bouncer at a small town club, and when he made the comment there weren't even the expected, cinematic ohhhhh, or whaaaat. One would expect, just a dead, echoing silence from about 40 onlookers. No need for cast, how dumb are you? This mother and daughter pair were trying to get into the club late in the evening, the daughter was clearly young, and actually reasonably attractive in quite a nice, fashionable, as best my fashion blind eyes can tell, outfit. The mother was not obese, but certainly overweight, and had shoehorned her corpulence into hot pants and a tank top that would have been trashy on a supermodel, and friends, she was no supermodel. Badly dyed stringy hair, cheap bulky jewelry, spray on orange skin, all the trailer trimmings. I didn't hear how the exchange started, but clearly these two were trying to cut ahead of the line. The bouncer, this massive, action figure of a black man with an oddly babbyish face and the patience of job, had denied this effort. Hilarity ensued. The daughter threw a few verbal jabs, but seemed to be just mildly irritated. The sideshow hooker of a mother lost her bloody mind. Shrieking racial epithets that would curl the ear hair of a plantation owner, and every horrific name you care, or do not care, to imagine. Interspersed with the expected, do you know who I am, and get me the owner, etc. The bouncer just stood there and didn't react with anything but polite direction. Downright heroic. After a few minutes of this vile screeching, the daughter is now embarrassed as hell, and trying to pull the mother away, people are gathering to watch and the whole thing has become a spectator sport. The bouncer just kept politely saying you will need to go to the back of the line like anyone else ma'am or variations on that theme. By now the woman wasn't even trying to argue the point, just squealing the revolting, and at this point, quite repetitive, insults. Then she screamed that he was an awful bouncer and would get fired that night. Then she tried to slap the bouncer. She missed, quite badly, at which point the bouncer took a single step forward, she fell back with a shriek, and said quite loudly. Ma'am, at any point tonight have I ever told you how to suck off flabby obese old men in an alley for five pounds a shot? Clearly baffled, she said nothing but sputtered, he continued. No, ma'am, I have never said anything like that. Not once. So don't tell me how to do my job. Dead silence. Like, 40, people in the street, not a sound. She yelled a couple more things then scuttled away with her daughter dragging her by the arm. It's been over a decade, but I still want to go find that bouncer and buy him a drink. Someone needs to get that man an award, a drink, then another Karen for him to slay. She wasn't a Karen. That was a Laverne or Crystal. Wow. That burn singed my eyebrows across the years and an ocean. ED angry that he's in the wrong place. Obligatory, on phone, non-native English speaker. I teach gymnastics to toddlers a couple of hours PR week. It is not at all uncommon that a parent is running late and will call me to be let in after class has started. Last week a dad called me, being very angry that no one was there to let him in when he arrived. Side note, I was there 15 minutes before to 2 minutes after class started to let the last one in. ED said that he was standing in the parking lot and had been throwing rocks at the windows, we are on the third floor. I asked him where he and his child are standing as there are no parking lots anywhere near our venue and no one had heard any rock throwing. This seems to send the ED into a full-blown temper tantum. He yells that he is in the parking lot. I tell him that we don't have a parking lot and if he is at a parking lot, he's in the wrong place. 
He, then, calls me rude and hangs up. Today I found out that he called my employer and continued the tantum. They confirmed that we do not have a parking lot and that he was at the wrong place. Can't wait till this week's class to see if he shows up. Ask him if he found a good parking spot. I wonder if the ED made it to the correct parking lot for the birth of his kid. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.